Hello everyone! Welcome to another video on practice test for civil service exam. For today, we will cover math. Gagabayan ko kayo sa pagsagot ng mga basic percent problems. Part 1 pa lamang ito ng ating videos on percent and it will also serve as our review na lang din on our knowledge on the basic percent operations. But before anything else, don't forget to like and subscribe. Quick recap muna tayo. When we say percent, it means per 100. And to convert a percent to a decimal, we divide it by 100. For example, 15% is equivalent to the decimal 0 0.15. An easier way para makonvert ang isang percent to a decimal is by moving the decimal point two places to the left. For example, as mentioned earlier, 15% is equivalent to the decimal 0 0.15. So here we have our 15. Yung decimal point ng outing 15 ay imove lang natin two places to the left. And magiging 0 0.15 na siya which is the same as dividing the 15% by 100. And to convert naman a decimal to a percent, we have to multiply it by 100. For example, 0 0.25 is equivalent to 25%. My easier way then in converting our decimal to percent and that is by moving the decimal point two places to the right naman this time. So here, for example, as mentioned earlier, 0 0.25 is equivalent to 25%. Yung 0 0.25 natin, yung decimal point niya ay imumove lang natin ng 2 places to the right which is equivalent to 25. Ia-add lang natin yung percent symbol to indicate percentage. So this is just similar to multiplying 0 0.25 by 100. With this, I hope ready na tayong mag-solve ng mga basic percentage problems. Tandaan, start na muna tayo ng basic. We have here set A, what is 1% of 5, 10% of 5, 100% of 5, and 1000% of 5. So when we encounter or when we see problems na ganito ang pagka-state na what is certain percentage of a certain number, so for this case, what is 1% of 5, if makikita natin na yung percent symbol is followed by of, remember na yung gagawin natin or ang way natin to solve this or yung operation na gagamitin natin is multiplication. So, multiply natin yung number to a number. Number 1. What is 1% of 5? For this case, hindi natin diretsong mamumultiply yung 1 and 5 kasi yung 1 natin is in the form of percent. So, we have to convert ang 1 natin to a decimal. And that is by moving the decimal point two places to the left. So, naging 0 0.01 siya. And our 0 0.01, imumultiply natin siya ng 5 which is 1% of 5. That is equal to 0 0.05. We have here number 2. What is 10% of 5? Again, hindi natin siya diretsong mamumultiply because we have to convert 10% to its decimal form. So, yung 10% natin in the decimal form natin which is equivalent to 0 0.1 and then 0 0.1 times 5 or 10% of 5 is equal to 0 0.5 have number 3 what is 100% of 5 
Again, hindi natin diretsong mamumultiply ang 100 and 5. So, we have to convert 100 to its decimal form by moving, again, the decimal point two places to the left. So, for this case, naging 1.0 na siya or 1. So, 1.0 times 5, which is 100% of 5, is equal to 5.0 or 5. Number 4, what is 1,000% of 5? Again, hindi natin pwedeng i-multiply ang 1,000% and 5 because it's still on its percent form. So, we have to convert it to its decimal form. And we can do this by moving the decimal point two places to the left. So, naging 10 siya or 10.0. 10 times 5 or 1,000% of 5 is equal to 50.0 or 50. Proceed tayo sa set B. We have 0.5, 5, 50, or 500 is what percent of 50? Whenever nakaka-encounter tayo ng problems na ganito ang pagka-state, blank is what percent of blank? Or for this case, 0.5 is what percent of 50? Tandaan na if ganito yung words or yung word na percent is followed by of, yung operation na gagawin natin or yung pag way ng pag-solve natin ng particular problems na ganito is division. Tandaan, yung operation natin is division. So, we have number one. 0.5 is what percent of 50? Yung 0.5 natin, i-divide natin by 50, and that is 0.01. Pero, need pa natin siya i-convert to percentage. So, 0.01 times 100, which indicates percentage, is equal to 1%. My other way then para ma-convert natin siya to its percentage form. So, di ba na-learn natin earlier to convert to percentage, we have to move the decimal point two places to the right. So, that brings us to 1%. Which is similar din naman ng pag-multiply natin ng 0.01 by 100. Number 2, 5 is what percent of 50? We have here 5 divided by... 50 which is equal to 0.1. Yung 0.1 naman natin, need pa natin siya i-convert to percentage. Kasi hinahanap naman natin dito is anong percent. So, 0.1 times 100 which is the percentage equals 10%. May easier way din tayo on how to convert. As mentioned earlier, i-move lang natin yung decimal point ng 2 places to the right so which brings us to 10% which is same lang din ng pagmultiply natin ng 0.1 times 100 number 3 50 is what percent of 50 so we have here 50 divided by 50 which is equal to 1 yung 1 i-convert pa natin to percentage kasi hinahanap naman natin dito ang percent. So, 1 times 100, which is the percentage, equals 100%. My other way then to convert the decimal to a percent by moving the decimal point two places to the right. So, for this case, yung 1, i-move natin yung decimal two places, so magiging 100% din siya which is similar din, multiply natin yung 1 by 100. Number 4, 500 is what percent of 50? So, we have your 500 divided by 50 is equals to 
So yung 10, i-convert pa natin to percentage. Kasi percent ang inahanap. So, 10 times 100, which is the percentage, is equal to 1,000%. May other way din tayo on converting this. That is by moving the decimal point two places to the right, which brings us to 1,000%. Which is similar na lang din with multiplying 10 by 100. That is it everyone. I hope nagabayan ko kayo sa pag-review ng inyong basic percent operations. And don't forget to practice because practice makes progress. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe.